Well, we're having a good time now. The good news is this is the second last video for the week. There's only one more after this. I'm going to do the same question, but there's a lot of like slashing out and stuff. So I want to make sure you understood where this came from. Okay. A couple of things. If I'm taking this and multiplying by this, okay, I could rewrite it just as 9c plus 45 times c to the 6 on top and on the bottom. We're going to get to that in a minute. But what I want to do is I want to factor anything I can possibly factor because the question asks you to simplify. So anything I can factor. So 9 can come out of this leaving with c plus 5, right? And I, there's nothing I can do down the bottom here. Nothing. Okay. But, and there's nothing I can do at the top here. But also, this is a perfect uh, setup to do the difference of squares. Perfect square, perfect square. Negative sign in the middle. C plus 5. And C minus 5. Okay. Now, uh, through the magic of whiteboards, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you that really because this is multiplication of a fraction and another fraction, I can write this and just move this over as c to the sixth. And I can just move these over too as c uh, plus five and c minus five. Right? So it's all on one long division. And I can only do that, or one long fraction bar. And I can only do that because it was multiplication. But now I'm looking at and saying, well, hold on. If I have a C plus 5 in the numerator and in the denominator, C plus 5 divided by C plus 5 is 1. I can get rid of that. Okay? So that helps me to simplify it. I also notice that I have C to the 6th. And if I have C to the 6th and C to the 10, well, C times C times C, if I, if I get rid of that, I'd only have C to the 4th left down here. Right, because I, if I were to multiply them out, c times c times c times c times c, I see ten of them along, or six of them along here, ten of them along here, leaving me four. So now I'm kind of down to this nine on the top, and six c to the fourth c minus five in the denominator. I didn't write that very well. Let's try that again. Nine on the top, and six c to the fourth. C minus 5 in the denominator here. Well, I'll step off screen, you can have a quick look. Um, there's not much else I can do except to say that, well, 9 and 6 also have a common factor I can divide out of 3. So if I, got, if I divide this by 3, I have 3 left there. And if I divide this by 3, I have 2 left there. And now it matches up like we have on the slide here. 3 in the numerator, and 2c to the 4th, c minus 5. Okay. I'd like to have a look at that. I'll step off screen again here. But you're probably saying to yourself, it still doesn't look very neat. And the reality is, you're correct, it still doesn't look very neat. But what we've done is we've simplified it as, as best as we multiply, best as we possibly could. We've done the multiplication and then simplified it into that scenario there. And that's, that's as good as it gets. See you on the next slide.